You're never going to make any money with your Uniswap concentrated liquidity pools unless you manage them like a millionaire. And that means that you need to know when to actually cut your losses and when to actually take profits from your positions. And at the same time, you need to make sure that you're prioritizing the long term of your liquidity pools as opposed to the short term tight range just to get a good yield. Ethereum has been pretty volatile over the past 30 days. So we're going to use this as an example on how to actually manage your pools. Let's say we entered around $2,000 per Ethereum token. Well, right off the bat, we need to go ahead and select a range. Now, I wouldn't select a range of just down here at, you know, $1,900 or even 1850 And the reason why is because this is too tight of a range. It does not allow for downside exposure to Ethereum. Our very bottom price over the past 30 days is around $1,700. I do think that's a little bit low, and I personally am a little bit bullish on Ethereum right now. So I would have went ahead and gone for like about $1,750. That gives us some decent downside exposure, but my upper range, I would have selected something much, much higher. And the reason why is because I want to make sure that I make money when the Ethereum price goes up as well, and I don't lose too much money to impermanent loss. Because remember, our goal here is to outperform the market, and if we have a ton of impermanent loss, then we are not going to outperform the market. In this case, I actually selected 2450 for the upper range of my liquidity pool. Now, before we talk about how to properly manage it, I want to show you what would happen if you did not manage your pools properly. So let's use the same example. We enter at $2,000 per Ethereum token, but we use a tight range of around, let's just say, 1870 all the way up to about 2200 as as you can see, we're getting about 124% annual yield. But in the case that Ethereum drops, let's just say to 1883, we are actually losing some money. So we're putting in a thousand bucks, but we're actually losing $45, which is about $10 more than if we were to just hold these initial assets in our wallet. But let's say Ethereum continues to fall and it goes down to 1800. Now we have lost just about $90. Whereas if we were to hold these assets in our wallet, we would only lost about 60 bucks. So since we have such a tight range, then permanent loss is being amplified. Because remember at the bottom of our range, which in this case is 1870, we are going to be full Ethereum. So that means that we have full exposure to Ethereum. And remember, Ethereum is the asset that's falling in price. Assume Ethereum continues to fall to $1,700. We now have $862, which ultimately means that we need to have about 15 days worth of fees to actually outweigh this impermanent loss. But that only outweighs the impermanent loss. That does not outweigh the overall loss. If we want to outweigh the overall loss and outperform the market, we need about 41 days worth of fees. Now, let's just say Ethereum price does quite well and it goes to maybe $2,200. Well, remember, our upper range is $2,200. If we were to just hold our initial assets, we would have about $1,058. Since we're in the liquidity pool, we only have about $1,030. So we have about 3% worth of impermanent loss. Ultimately, meaning if we are in this pool for about eight days, nine days, then those fees do cover that impermanent loss. What happens when the price goes out of range, maybe to $2,300? Well, now we have a lot more impermanent loss. We still have $1,028. Whereas if we were to hold, we have about $1,087, which means that we need about 17, 18 days to actually outweigh that impermanent loss. But remember, that means that we have to be in range for 18 days. And in this case, Ethereum is out of range already. So assuming we adjust our range to something like 1750 to 2450, let's go ahead and calculate the impermanent loss. Now I want to mention we're getting about half the yield, we're getting about 61%. However, in the case that Ethereum goes to let's just say $2,300, we have $1,057, ultimately not nearly as much impermanent loss that we initially had. And in this case, we only need about 20 days worth of fees to outweigh this impermanent loss. Now, let's just say Ethereum goes to maybe $1,800. Well, then in this case, we only have about $16 worth of impermanent loss. And the reason why is because once again, we have a broader range. That means that the impermanent loss does not come nearly as fast. Because remember, when the price is at the bottom of our range, which would be $1,750, we are full Ethereum. And when the price is at the top of our range, which would be $2,500, we are in full USDC. Now, before we go any further, I do have a pretty comprehensive free Uniswap V3 guide that you guys can access down below in the description. Make sure to go ahead and check that out to learn more. Now let's talk about when you might want to rebalance your concentrated liquidity pools. So imagine you put up, let's just say 80% in Ethereum and then 20% in USDC. That means you're putting up a total of $1,000. Let's just say 800 of that is Ethereum and 200 of that is USDC. The reason why you might want to do this is if you're ultimately bullish. If you are bullish, you want to have your range to the point where you're putting up the majority in Ethereum. And that's because as the price of Ethereum goes up, you start to have less exposure to it and your Ethereum Ethereum starts to get converted into USDC, which is ultimately bad because remember, you're bullish and you want to make money when the price goes up. So by having a good amount of initial exposure to Ethereum at the very start of your pool, like let's just say 80%, that allows you to make profit on Ethereum as the price goes up. But ultimately, what will happen is as the price of Ethereum starts to move up, your assets will be shifted into each other. So your Ethereum will be shifted into USDC. 
all the way into the point where you might have 50% of each asset. Now that's where I do a market analysis and actually rebalance my pool and say, hey, I don't think the price is gonna move below this point. Let's set that point to our bottom range. And ultimately you might set it a little bit lower or a little bit higher depending on what your upper range is. That way you can rebalance your pool back to an 80-20 split, ultimately allowing you to gain even more exposure to Ethereum as the price moves up. Now let's just say we started investing to this Ethereum to USDC pair back in January when the price was about 13.30 per Ethereum token at this point. Once again, this was the very start of the pump. So honestly, I would set my range all the way down here at about 1160. And if I set my top range over here at about, let's just say 1500 or 1510, then I'm putting up about 50% of each asset. I do not have upside exposure to Ethereum, or at least much of it. So what I might do is I might set my top range over here at the resistance level, which would be about 1670, which would ultimately make me put up about 70% in Ethereum, which is good enough for me. And the thing is, as the price starts to move up, let's just say it goes to over here at about 1500. What I might do is rebalance my pool. I might move the bottom range to maybe where I started and then move the top range up even more. So that way I still have exposure to Ethereum as the price starts to move up once again. Now, this is a pretty broad range. And honestly, if the market's moving something like this and it's just a ranging market, it's not moving too much or too little, I'm going to leave my position. I'm not going to have to constantly rebalance it because, yes, the price moves from about 1460 all the way up to about 1740. But the thing is, since we have a broad range, we don't have to finalize impermanent loss. And the reason why we don't have to finalize that impermanent loss is because we have a broad range. Had we had a tight range, let's just say something like this and this well as you can see the majority of the time over here as well as over here we're out of range we're going to have to do some finalization of our impermanent loss which is ultimately going to affect us in the long term now let's just assume that we stay in this range all the way up until this point in time so after we see this dip but also after we see this spike well then at this point in time we just saw some very very volatile price action but also a really good pump the price went up about i want to say 32 percent over the course of just four days, which is really nice. And right there is where I do rebalancing. I would rebalance to something along these lines, about 1,500, maybe to 2,000, keep it even. And the reason why I do that is because once again, I'm bullish on Ethereum. And that would ultimately give us more upside exposure for Ethereum as the price starts to move up. And then as the price continues to move up, let's just say over here and the market has ranged for a while and stabilized, I might re-range right about at that price at about $1,700 per Ethereum token. And I might re-range to something like this, just move up the price just a little bit and move this one up maybe to 2,100. And by the way, I wanna mention, you can literally track my Uniswap V3 positions in my free Discord down below in the description i have my wallet addresses public and i have a spreadsheet that you can reference which ultimately means that i have my money where my mouth is and this is exactly what i did with my own strategy once again as the price of ethereum starts to move up to let's just say over here i might rearrange my position to something like this move it to that previous level and move this up to maybe 20 $300 because maybe I'm getting even more bullish on Ethereum. Ultimately, in this case, I'm probably putting up about 30% in Ethereum, the rest in USDC. Now, the thing is, since we are in this position for about three months and we are taking profits, collecting our fees, and just selling it into a stable coin, when the price does move down below our range, like right here, for example, we are still at an overall profit. And you can ultimately see that by my actual positions that I've executed myself. The first position was about $1,450 to $2,200 range. We made about $50. We rearranged the next position, was 1575 to 2200 so we just tightened it a little bit we made 35 dollars the next position was 1700 to 2300 we made 110 dollars and then the current position is actually down 126 dollars and that position has a range of about 1750 to 2450 but the thing is we made 192 dollars worth of profit from our previous positions because we did not finalize too much in permanent loss we only finalized profit okay so you subtract that we're still at an overall 66 dollar profit right here which is really nice and the goal here is to outperform the market the overall market's down about 2.7 percent whereas our portfolio is only down about 0.5 percent so as you can see we're outperforming the overall crypto market we're still down but our goal is to outperform the market so since we are not prioritizing the high yield pairs we're prioritizing the blue chip pairs to outperform the market our strategy is ultimately working and is going to generate money over time and that's exactly why it's important to have a strategy in place and know what you're going to do when you're positions hit certain price points. Also guys, I've ran very short-term pools with Ethereum to USDC and very long-term pools with Ethereum to USDC. And I always find that the middle ground works the best. And that's where you have a semi-short range, but a semi-long range. So instead of a range of like 1700 to 1900 per Ethereum or a range of let's just say 1000 to 3000 per Ethereum, you do a range of about maybe 1500 to 
2,500 or 1,500 to 2,300 or something along those lines. It's all about back testing your pools. It's all about having a strategy in place. And if you have questions, make sure to join up on the free Discord and ask for help. I also have that free guide, which is linked down below in the description to help you guys out. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, notifications turned on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.